Hey, 80 cooking can cook sharks. Not bad. Might do some shark fishing, but I really want anglers more than anything. For the raids. That will be 50 plus today. Oh shit, 95 uh, magic? Yeah, we're pretty much gonna get 99 through raids, so yeah, man, four more level to go. I was hoping the ancestral hat and the legs would give me enough magic percent to get me an extra hit, but unfortunately, I did not gain a max hit off of the 4% combined magic damage. So I would need to get the final ancestral piece, which would boost me to 6% in order to get a max hit. Oh shit, new max hit. Nice, 39. I think that's gonna be my max hit for a while until I get some uh, new strength gear. Alright, please. Oh, okay, there we go. That was actually really lucky, because if I kill the main chan just a little bit earlier, then it wouldn't have cancelled the healing effect of the melee hand, and it would actually just persisted, and I would have had to redo the main chan all over again. Pretty solid, nice, 50 chambers completed. So I initially thought the base max of the Sir Dart and the Fire Wave were both 20, but it turns out that if you're 90 plus magic and you are overloaded, you can actually get a base max hit of 21 with the Slayer Dart, whereas Fire Wave does not change until you have damage modifiers. So actually, Slayer Dart for me at the moment is better by one damage. And that's good enough in that case. I'll save the Fire Waves for potentially if I get a Koda in the future. So my next big set of raids upgrades that isn't super RNG to get is going to be for the Brutal Black Dragons. They drop the Dragonstone at a 1 in 512 rate, which I want two of for the combat bracelet and for the glory. And they also drop either the uh, Dragon Plate Legs or the Dragon Plate Skirt, which is best in slot melee legs at level 60, which is way better than runes. So that's a good one. And maybe we get lucky, we get a Fistage for Dragonfire Shield, which is also best in slot. Aside from that, the rewards from these guys are insane. Uh, Dragon Bones, uh, Runes, Alcabals, you name it. Oh, Dragonstone! Holy shit! Oh my god, guys, we just got our first Dragonstone. Holy shit! So, the uncut version is 1 in 512. I got a cut one, which means that it must have been a rare drop table. So that one was actually a 1 in 4,000 drop from the Brutal Bad Dragons, which is actually crazy. So for the first Dragonstone, I'm going to make a Glory because I think that's a bit more important since there's a chance I might get a Regen Brace later before the second Glory of Tecton. But that means I need to get 80 crafting ASAP. Alright, so these are all my supplies for crafting right now. So I got a ton of gems, mostly from 50 Raids and 300 Soragnus. And uh, I also have some Silver Ore, 3000 Silver Ore from Raids. And I also have gold ore too, so I can turn these cut ones into the jewelries if I need more XP. So yeah, I don't know if I have enough for 80, but I don't think I'm gonna even gonna bother doing the math for it. I'm just gonna cut these, see what I get. If I need more, I'll make them into, you know, rings. Just a reminder, I do have a natural selection, so that means like the Brutal Black Dragons and stuff is all done through Slayer tasks. I do have a long-term goal of getting to 95 Slayer eventually for Hydra, for like the Lance and all those other uniques. But essentially, I'm able to work on all these upgrade goals via Slayer, so that works out very well for me. Oh! Oh, oh my god, bro! What the f- <laughs> My blood pressure is going up. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's freaking crazy, boys. I mean, yeah, it's only 1 in 500 drops, but still, dude. The second D-Stone is probably not going to show up for quite a while, but... Oh man, that's nuts, man. We just got ourselves best in slot legs, bro. Oh, nice. 83 farming. Plant some magic trees. Hey, that's probably a big task for points. What? <laughs> Dragon plate skirt. Oh my god. Yo, I can wear a skirt one day and I can wear legs the next day. Hell yeah, bro. Getting all the dragon drops, dude. Oh, baby. Yo, fancy boys. Look at that beauty. Oh, look at those legs, bro. Oh my god, those calves. Oh, baby, the dragon met home, bro. We're getting so many goddamn items today. Non-raid stuff, but yo, that's cool, man. Now I have uh, two D-meds. Hell yeah. 
Oh wait, I just got a uh, 88 Slayer. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, yeah, man, we got seven more levels to go. Holy shit, dude! This is crazy, man. I, I had a feeling that this might be the case. So I can't bring both top and bottom to base because it's not worth inventory space. So I just realized that if I uh, do D high body and dragon legs, I get more defense than D high chest versus rune plate body. All across the board in every single way. Even the magic defense is higher. Holy shit. Okay, guys, we have a new setup. So the melee things have changed quite a bit because of the dragon plate legs, you know, with that recent discovery. Holy shit, I love this, man. I've never actually had this setup before. I have uh, both of the skeletons perfectly diagonal trapped. That's really cool. I'm just going to trust that I can tank this. Holy shit, I am overpowered. I am overpowered. I am strong. I am very strong. Oh, wow, this Vanguard actually survived. Are you kidding me? Yo, this gear is more than adequate now to handle vanguards. Nice. That vanguard took like maybe four minutes. Man, Dragon Playlist is so good. It's actually a really good piece of tank gear. God damn. Makes my rune play body look like child's play. Alright, it is time to start the crafting training. We're gonna start with all the gems. All right, just did all the sapphires. Um, what we got? Holy crap, a thousand cut. That got me all the way to 63 from like 48. Damn, dude, that's crazy. We should get almost uh, like to the 70s probably just off of these gems. Emeralds is next. At 550k an hour though for sapphires. All right, all the emeralds are done. We're at 69 crafting. All right, all the rubies are done, boys. I am floating at 700k an hour, so yeah, it's been been pretty crazy experience rates the past hour. I've only been doing this for an hour, if you think about it. What the hell? All the diamonds left, so about 700. Well, guys, that is it. I am uh, all out of gems to cut, so all the fast, juicy experience is over, but I did get 1.25 million experience from all my gems which was about like yeah around 3500 gems look at all those freaking levels man from 49 all the way to 75 filled my entire freaking scroll bar so yeah that leads us to about four levels because i'm pretty much 76 four levels man yeah i think gold ores are probably the best i can actually get more overall xp off of these than tiaras so this is going to be our first attempt in doing a almost no prep we have Fitzbila, uh, which we crushed. So it's up to Vanguard to give us the supplies and meet it down to hopefully not kick my ass. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I have a lot of food. Yes. Nice. Yes, that was pretty good, right? We managed to clear it with three and a half brews. So that means we can definitely look forward to faster raids very soon. Oh, 96 agility. Uh, agility. Why do I keep. Why do I say agility? 96 magic, let's go. Three more to go for the 99, for sure. Oh, oh, I'm already done, what the fuck? No way, dude, I'm already freaking done. Holy shit, I, I just got my second dragon stone. Damn, bro, I still kind of want to kill these guys. Like, you know, the rewards are sick. Holy crap, all right, well, I, I think I'm gonna make the combat base right away because I already have another dragon stone anyway, so. Ah, we have ourselves a combat bracelet. Oh, baby. All right, let me show you guys the goods. The stats on this beauty, seven accuracy on everything. Three magic, sick, and strength bonus, six. Second best tribal gloves in Twisted League. So it's kind of like Barrel's gloves, pretty much. Yo, I'm very proud to present to you our latest concoction of a setup. This is actually amazing. So we don't need Mystic Gloves anymore. We don't need uh, Shaijin Gloves anymore because this thing is just straight up better than both. So uh, I also probably get to max it on my whip and increase accuracy as well on the whip. So melee side improved a lot. Holy crap. See, this is why you don't fuck with it at 5.8%. Oh my god. I forgot. 5.8% is actually still killable. So 
Yeah, I can't. I cannot try to hit it at 5.8. That's fucked. Oh shit, yo! I just got 2,000 rune arrows. Let's freaking go. Nice. I have 4,000 rune arrows. I can keep raiding with rune arrows for like a while. <laughs> yo, more rune arrows, dude! I'm set, boys. I'm set. 6,000 rune arrows, man. I'm just gonna be raiding with rune arrows all day, dude. Yeah, buddy. Absolutely. I will take that, dude. And the quorums, too. Hell yeah. Alright, so I converted uh, 2,000 gold ores into bars. So um, I'm going to start with the highest tier gems and then go down. Uh, but yeah, 2,000 might be enough to get me 80. So we'll see. Alright, guys. Here it is. The 80 crafting... Now I can make Dragonstone amulets. Let's freaking go, bro. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. All right. Well, looks like I, I have plenty, you know, plenty of gems left. So uh, if I ever uh, do end up getting like an Onyx, where, where would that be? Uh, 84 for the bracelet. So that's four levels. And uh, Fury is, wow, 90. So, yeah. If I do end up getting onyxes in the future, that those are some goals to work towards. So, uh, yeah, man, still a lot of gems left, and I'll probably get a lot more uh, throughout, you know, the raids in the future. Yes, and of course the enchant. Ah, beautiful amulets of glory, baby. Mm -mm. Ten accuracy on everything. Beautiful. So on tomorrow's update, Jagex is going to make you auto-claim your points on all the tasks that you complete. I was trying to save up all my points, all my tasks, after the 5k, so I can do it at the very end of Twisted League, so I can get this massive point game. But yeah, I, I have to claim it now, or else I'm just going to get the points anyway starting tomorrow. So yeah, I wonder how many points I've saved up ever since you know unlocking the 5th Relic, dude. This is going to be crazy. All right, baby. Surprise me. Surprise me. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. Uh, holy crap. 3,630. So with the points I have, I'm actually ranked 1,600 in the overall high scores. Not bad for someone that's actually not competing and just, you know, playing to sleep for fun. But I'm actually within the rune rank, which is one tier below Dragon the highest. So in the future leagues, I should be able to uh, access some exclusive worlds for my rank. But we'll see, you know, there's still a lot of time left before the uh, final points and stuff are settled down. And who knows, man, if I feel I can be close enough to dragon rank towards the end, I might actually go for it, you know, just to reserve myself a nice rank for future league. Alright guys, we are now at are perhaps one of our final setups. Oh my god, I'm so glad I moved the uh, I curved there. Woof. Here we go. Imagine getting a rune crossbow. Off of the fourth elite when I already have one. It's pretty good looking, man. Oh, what? I just completed a uh, league task. What the heck? I, I've gotten 25 million range XP. Alright, I am, uh, I would say, pretty much done with Brutal Blacks for a long, long time because we've gotten all the things that we wanted from the Brutal Blacks. I just wanted a bit more uh, Dragon Bones, so. Alright, so how many uh, Brutal Black Dragons did I kill? 380, okay. So in that time, I got uh, 380 Dragon Bones, pretty much. And uh, I got the two Dragon Stones for my Glory and my Combat Bracelet. And as for the loot though, tons of Dragon Items. A good amount of runes, 800 Blood, 600 Death, 750 Rune Arrows too, that's awesome. 1200 Loss, damn. You have reached the end of the video, but if you want to catch more of the progress, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the next one. It's going to be a good one. French chat's open at Mr. Iron Bar, so feel free to join us there. 
If YouTube content isn't enough, I stream as well most days. Twitch.tv slash RiceCoat. So yeah, hit us up there as well. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.